What's up you guys? Jayla D back here with another tutorial on how to do passion twists on very soft hair. This is my model Vicky. She's getting some ombre passion twists today. And as you can see in the back, she's growing out an undercut. So I decided for the texture of her hair and for the fact that she has an undercut that the rubber band method would be the best. So before we get started, I'm going to coat her hair with some castor oil. One, it will help prevent any breakage that will come from the rubber bands, as well as the any breakage that could come from the friction of the synthetic fibers of the Passion Twist hair with her hair. Um, one thing I do want to note is that this is my first time trying the rubber band method. And my experience from doing it, it's not my favorite, but for the desired results, I think that it worked. As you can see here, I am parting out the nape of her neck. I usually like to do two rows in the back to make everything even and consistent. Even though her hair is fine, she has a lot of hair. Just clip that out the way. And as you can see, I usually typically start from the middle of the ear to the other middle of the ear to get a straight part across. And that's going to be my first row. Y'all, my chair is bootleg, so <laughs> it took a lot for me to turn her around at that particular point. You know I gotta use my gator clip to part. It saves me time from having to pick up and put down a comb. And it gives me, it makes it faster and keeps the process going pretty fast. So you see I've made my first section and I'm just gonna take the rubber band and I try to twist it around a few times. You don't want to make it too tight just for the fact of you don't want to put too much friction on the hair. So I'll do it about four to five times depending on the size of the rubber band and how tight I need that base to be in order for the twist to stay. So I'm gonna take my rubber band and put it around the section one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. This one I did six times. And I think that's a pretty good, it's nice and tight, but not too tight where it's pulling on her hair. On this first row, my base usually consists of three to four twists. It depends on the size of your client's hairline back there. Some people have more narrow hairlines, some people have wider. So for Vicky, we're gonna be doing four twists back there, or four sections, whatever you wanna call it. And this is me doing the fourth section right here. I'm getting ready to part out my next section and I typically like to go from the top of the ear 
to the other side of the top of the ear and I'm just gonna go this section usually is about six to seven parts or six to seven braid sections in the hair we're all finished I feel like she oh no we're not haha <laughs> almost finished but she's giving me like spice girl vibes with these rubber band sections it's cute though I like it I know you see my tester one hanging on the side I had to make sure that this was going to work seeing as it was my first time When I am doing these passion twists, I like to take my time at the top simply because the way that the hair initially falls is usually important to my clients, whether they want a side part, they want a middle part, they want no part at all, if they want it to fall forward in their face or if they want it to fall backwards off of their face, those are all things that are important for you to know about your client because it'll determine how you need to part the hair. It'll determine your parting space, how many twists need to be up top. All those things are factors into having a good outcome with your style. I just want to point out how my nails are extremely long. Some people think that you can't do a good job when doing hairs with bleh, can't talk when doing hair with long nails. But for me, it really helps when it comes to parting and grabbing hair. And I feel like I work just as fast, if not faster, with longer nails than I do with my natural nail or shorter nails. So go get you some nails, girl. This is our last section and we are ready to twist. That's that Spice Girl look. <laughs> Looking like Baby Spice. And you can see here's my parts. So this is the hair that we're going to be using today. It's by Expression. It's in the color 1B27. It's called the Twisted Up Passion Twist Hair in Water Wave. I found this hair at my local beauty supply store. I don't remember how much it was, but I used exactly eight packs. And for each twist, I used three strands to get me a nice size twist. So I'm just gonna part the hair out of the way.
using my butterfly clip. I need to get my latch hook. And I feed the hair through as if I'm doing an actual crochet braid, knotting it at the top, making sure both sides are even. And then I'm going to start twisting. Keep in mind I am using my Shine and Jam gel to make sure that the hair meshes in with the twist. I think putting the rubber bands in is what took me the longest, but once I started crocheting the hair in and twisting it. It definitely took off and went a lot faster. So this is I believe our last twist that I'm just taking my shine and jam coating the hair I've already crocheted the hair through and I'm just going to twist the hair Reapplying that shine and jam as needed. This particular brand of Passion Twist hair is my favorite because for me it's just so easy to twist. The only con that I have is it's so long. Because of the length, I feel like I'm twisting forever. But it is fairly easy for me to twist up because I typically have to twist in the opposite direction I am used to twisting in with other Passion Twist hair. With this hair, I can go in the direction that's natural for me causing me to twist a lot faster than I typically would. Now we're taking our signature Jayla D oil. It's really good, really good. You can click the link in my description box below to get you some. It smells amazing. And it works well to help prevent dry scalp on my clients when they get their protective styles. You just want to spray it all over and get that through her scalp. And now the passion twists are done. As you can see, she likes her hair. Just playing around to see the different ways it will fall. And these twists, they look very cute and very natural on her. They're very lightweight, they move around, and they're perfect for that trip that you are about to go on. It's perfect vacation hair. This concludes our video, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of my work, look, click my links in the description box below. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more videos, comment in the box below letting me know what videos you would like me to do a tutorial on next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.